stereotype by Masood Malik and Brayton. We can start off with you trying to begin to get a sense of your tendency to make generalizations and stereotypes by completing the following sentences. After you have been through these questions, it's likely that you were able to complete each sentence without much hesitation. So, exactly what is a stereotype? There is nothing wrong with generalizations as long as they are accurate. In fact, it would be impossible to get through life without them. But when generalizations lose touch with reality, they lead to stereotyping, which by the third Canadian edition of Looking Out, Looking In, on page 107 is defined as categorizing individuals according to a set of characteristics assumed to belong to all members of a group. Stereotypes may be based on a kernel of truth, but they go beyond the facts at hand and make claims that usually have no valid basis. Have you ever analyzed a person's first impression? The whole concept of characterizing an individual is summarized in these two points. There are many types of stereotyping, such as racism, religion, sexism, physical appearance, and profession and career. In the media, men are shown to only care about sports and food, and it is expected for the man to do the dirty jobs around the house, such as taking out the garbage or fixing the car. On the other hand, women are shown as the only one to be able to take care of the house as well as a family. With these ideas, it's harder for a woman to have a career and a family at the same time because they are supposed to be perfect in both. Women are shown as passive human beings, subservient to men, and sometimes barely clothed. Also, they depend on men for strength and survival, not their own empowerment. Racism is certainly the most common type of stereotyping. Racism is a form of discrimination against people who belong to other races. An example is black youth who are much more likely to be stopped and searched by the police than youth from other racial backgrounds, since it's observed that blacks are criminals. What's up with the guy with the weird eyes? He handicapped or something? We believe he's of Korean descent. Oh my god. <laughs> North Korea and Al-Qaeda working together. This is bigger than I thought. Another common stereotype is religion. We live in a very diverse society. We encounter people with different origins from across the globe. Under the category of religion, many individuals belong to each separate religion. Such stereotypes about any religion can easily be, be proven false. For example, Muslim women are always seen in oppression for wearing the headscarf, the hijab, when in reality, the hijab is completely a choice of the women and a show of freedom. Man, this is so not like me. Yeah. It's like I'm a whole new herald. Better, faster, stronger. Nice. <laughs> man, I've never used a sick day before. I'm taking a whole week off from work here, man. And. In less than eight hours, we're gonna be in Amsterdam. This is nuts. This is nuts. I know, dude. It's gonna be exactly like Euro Trip, only it's not gonna suck. It's gonna be awesome. It's not not gonna be awesome. <laughs> Other types of stereotyping include physical appearance. For example, Blondes are seen to be shopping girls and at the same time to be considered airheads. Although obese individuals are thought of being lazy, hopeless, and always eating. Another type of stereotype include professions and or careers. For example, judges are always shown to be well-educated old individuals. And another example is showing that men are not suitable, suitable to be nurses. You know, Greg's in medicine too, Larry. Oh, really? Yeah. What field? Uh, nursing. <laughs> That's good. Uh, no, really. Uh, what field? Nursing. Hey, why don't I get you a chair, Greg? Thank you. Thanks. Okay. So As stated before, stereotyping is categorizing individuals according to a set of characteristics assumed to belong to all members of a group. Stereotypes are shown in racism, religion, sexism, physical appearance, and professions and careers. In conclusion, stereotypes don't always lead to communication problems. If the person with whom you are interacting happens to fit the image in your mind, there may be no difficulties. But if your mental image does not happen to match the characteristics of uh, the other person, problems can arise.